So as you can see, our ice maker is not making any ice. This is a Whirlpool WRX735SDBM02, and I'll post that in the description. What we're going to do is replace this ice maker. We heard there's a lot of problems with this original model. So pull out the ice tray, and then before you remove this ice maker, you want to use a flathead screwdriver, stick into this cover here, lift it up to pull out the cover, and this will give you the ability to pull out the ice maker. Before you do, you want to unplug the ice maker and where it connects to the refrigerator. Make sure those wires are not in the way when you're pulling out the ice maker. There's a hinge as you saw there on the left. Once you pop that open, you can pull this ice maker out. It does require some effort, but once you get it halfway through, and the last half of the way out is fairly easy. It does still require some effort, but once you get it out halfway, it's easy to be removed then. Don't worry about it squeaking, making noise. You're not breaking anything. Just make sure it's not tangled up with those wires. And then find some open space. And we do have a new ice maker here on the left. This is the latest model, so it will be compatible. Notice the difference in the cover is white now versus black. The black one has been recall and discontinue. The new ice maker does have different wiring adapter. So you want to switch those out as well. And this attachment here is the same. So we won't swap those, but that's for the on and off. Once your ice maker is full, it lifts up that, that rack. So you want to start on the bottom of the ice maker and unscrew those three bolts down there. Those are six and a quarter. And you can use either a, a drill or a regular screwdriver with an adapter for, for that wrench. So after you unscrew all three underneath, uh, you should be able to lift up the ice maker but before you do there is a attachment in the front at least for this older version you do have to unscrew that and that's where it signal the the ice maker motor to start rotating once the ice is solidified so that just pulls right out after you unscrew it and there is a wire adapter on the left side of the motor. You want to use a flathead screwdriver, push in, and you should be able to pull out the wires. Just be careful. These are fairly thin wires. And this is where the difference in the adapter versus the, the newer version of the ice maker. So unfortunately, you have to change out the wires. So there's the old ice maker. Here's the new one. You can see a slight difference in where the motor is at, the brown versus the black. So let's start detaching some of these wires. So I don't like to cut this. I'd like to use a flathead screwdriver. It's safer uh, so you don't actually cut any wires uh, for where those zip ties are at. So there's a, a few of them that you need to open. And then to get inside, you want to pry this open with a flathead screwdriver. This is where the fan is. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. And watch how I open that. You basically tuck in the flathead screwdriver and then bent forward. And those are the wires inside that you have to detach. First off, you want to detach that fan. Again, use a flathead screwdriver to unpin it. And then you have these wiring harness inside. There's another attachment where you want to disconnect before you start pulling out the wires. And again, it's, it's fairly straightforward. You just wanna unattach all the wires before you start pulling them through those openings. And also their seal a uh, rubber seal, there's two of them, you want to pull out carefully and not to damage any of the wiring or the plastic or where it's clipped to. Okay, so just be patient. 
and you will be able to to pull them out without damaging anything um, and here I am just pulling out the the wires attachment to the motor uh, where it rotates and this is uh, the motor for when it's spinning the ice to push it out of the refrigerator so you want to be careful with that it does require a little effort wiggle it back and forth and be patient and eventually it will, it will come out uh, if you have a flathead screwdriver you may try that but just also be careful and once you start pulling out the wires uh, just remember to do everything in reverse once you put in the new ice maker. Best thing to do is take a photo before you start pulling out wires in case if you forget which wires go into which socket and which um, adapter, okay? So there is one wire um, attach a green wire which the motor is blocking it and instead of trying to remove this motor if you unbolt it the three attachment here again with the six and a quarter you will be able to wiggle around that motor and be able to put a screwdriver underneath and be able to unscrew that so just some pointers there and advice and now we're ready to install the new ice maker so again now everything in reverse i'm not going to show you step by step uh, like how i did with removing the ice maker and wiring so again just do everything in reverse and screw everything back in reverse how you unscrew it so all the screws fortunately are the same so you don't have to worry about um, putting the wrong screw in the wrong socket one slight difference here is that front h adapter to to the motor in the front for the ice maker uh, you don't need to screw that in it just latch in so you will have a extra screw um, that you can put away or toss away and now the final touch, we're going to attach this lever here to detect once the ice uh, bucket is full. That will prevent it from overproducing ice once it's full. So we'll go ahead and attach that. And again, no tools required for this. You just slide it in and now it's ready to be reinserted back into the refrigerator. Okay. Everything looks to be working fine. Um, you just want to make some adjustment if you need to, but everything is ready to go. So let's go ahead and put this ice maker back in the refrigerator. Once again, do everything in reverse. When you took it out, now you're just pushing it back in. I did want to mention, be careful with the wiring on the bottom left there. Make sure it's not pinched or stuck. And then once this fully latch in, get that front white cover that comes with the ice maker and again i'll post a description where you can find these and the details make and model etc in the description of this video so this cover goes on make sure again uh, the wires not pinch or uh, where it's supposed to be so that yellow wire should be on the bottom so i'm going to slide it slightly over with my index finger pulling the wire down and that that should do it and to make sure you cover that bottom left where the wire is at before you put in the ice tray and once the ice tray is in we'll test it out um, after a few hours to see if any ice is being made 